Sign up today. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the magical Monday, the June 8th edition of today's Trader's Zed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that, well, it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right, when you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is gonna toss at us. Now today, you and I, we're gonna go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're gonna go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here, but much, much more important than that. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered there too. You can always let those fingers do the walking. Send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. And in our Tiger's Den, well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on a magical, marvelous, magnificent Monday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Less Show. Right now, we got most of the indices in the green. The two that aren't are the semiconductors. They're off 20 points. That's a little over 1%. And the NASDAQ 100 down six points. So we'll basically call that flat. The Dow's up 250, just shy of 1%. S&P 14 points, about a half a percent. Russell's up nearly 2%, 28 points, trading out of 1535. And the most interesting man on the planet, that's G7. Because he figured out, he said that, uh, he showed me that the most interesting diverging pattern that was present on uh, Stevie's uh, charts out here is a rising VIX uh, along with a rising S&P 500. Now, one day does not make that divergence, but let's just go check it out. The reason, let's see if I can find our charts here that will show what we want to share with you. I guess it's back just a little bit further. Uh, where is it? Fix, fix, fix. Okay, so it's not back all that way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sorry about that, folks. I thought it was handy dandy, and instead it is hiding, schmiding. Oh, good Lord, where is it? Am I just, uh, here we go, VIX primer. There we go. So here on this chart, let me just kind of... Uh, Scrunch it a little bit. Scrunch is a, a technical term for you uh, tech, uh, technology technologists out there. If we take a look at, so the bottom portion of my screen, I'm just trying to pull it back so you can see several different examples of it. And you're looking at the bottom portion of my screen is the spot volatility index. And here you can see rising, the green lines, the green diagonal lines are showing us rising bottoms. The up portion of the screen is the S&P 500, the cash indice, showing us where we have price moving higher, but we also have a rising spot volatility index. And should that continue, that's an indication of some type of retracement. Now, the larger retracements are ones, and you can guess this, you already know the answer to this. Which ones are the larger ones? The ones that turn into a larger, more than just a retracement and correction? Exactly. The ones where we see a rising VIX and then that VIX gets above that 50-day exponential moving average. So we don't have that right now. The 50-day exponential moving average is 33.23, but it is a very interesting pattern to continue watching and observing out there. Otherwise, it's just um, there's nothing much to talk about. And I don't have any requests by email, nothing inside the Tiger's Den. I don't know about the YouTube channel. The guys in production den will, uh, production uh, room will let me know if we've got anything. So let's just focus on the on the markets in general. 
uh, the indices out here. Let's start by taking, let's, let's focus in on the S&P 500, the ES Mini, at this stage of the game, since that's the pattern that we had shown you. So let's start by taking a look at the 30-minute uh, time frame out here. And on the 30-minute time frame, we're going to see a road momentum indicator top that has cap price. That took place at 2,000 hours. That is uh, what? That is uh, 8 p.m. This is last evening. Price is moving higher to a less relative energy. Rhodes Mintum indicator. We also had a TD9 count top was bar number eight. Uh, that was at about uh, midnight. Um on June the 5th. No, that was 12 in the afternoon on June the 5th out there. So there's your real resistance wall. These highs that the ES Mini has not been able to power through. At the same time, it hasn't been able to power through any levels of support out here. Uh, even if it's the bottom of its uh, daily, pro uh, not daily, it's 30 minute time frame profiles out here. So real tough time struggling up at the highs. Maybe that's really what the folks in the spot volatility index are noticing as well. Hmm, something to think about. Let's take a look at the 60 minute time frame. Let's go take a look at uh, four or five different time frames. Get a uh, overall picture for the S&P futures contract. You see on the 60 minute time frame, it also has a road momentum indicator top out here. Um, so again, just another indication of price struggling to clear the current highs. If we take a look at the two-hour time frame chart, any patterns out here? Yep, there's a, a TD9 count pattern, bar number eight. That is the high price not being able to take that out. So there's your topping signal on the ES Mini for its two-hour time frame. If we take a look at the five-hour time frame, we're going to see price is beginning to move higher due to less relative energy. We've got a TD9 count pattern that is formed out here. We've got a bearish structured five-hour uh, market profile out there so we can just see you can feel it but you don't have to feel it you can actually see why the es mini is uh, struggling now on a daily time frame doesn't appear to be much of a struggle so if we go out to the larger picture when i say not much of a struggle what i really mean there is we don't have any kind of a topping signal we did on those short-term time frame charts but when it comes to the big daddy of them all the daily out here we're only in bar number six wave number six as well that's letter f on my screen and uh, with price trading above stevie's green line which is 30 3108. There's every possibility until there's a bearish reversal candle that forms that price wants to go target 3397.75. You're at 3208 as we speak right now. Let's go take let's uh, let's take a look at the weekly time frame chart out here. On the weekly time frame chart, uh, there is no sign of a top as we speak right now. Even if we spoke later today, there's not a sign of a top. Even if it's tomorrow, we don't have a topping signal. Doesn't mean that it can't top. It's just on the weekly time frame, we don't have such a pattern out there. Now, that's different. We take a look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ is basically flat. It's off one point out here. But if we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, we do have a topping signal. We have a topping signal. That's that TD nine count pattern out here. That completed last week. Even if we have a higher high this week, which we do at the uh, moment, or I believe, yeah, I believe we do. Um, it, remember, it can be the bar following bar number nine, such as the high that was back out here in February. It was the bar following bar nine that identified that uh, topping signal. Price was also moving higher with less relative energy. We don't have that pattern at the moment. So on the weekly for the NQ, yeah, we've got a topping signal. How about on the daily time frame chart? See what kind of going in reverse order here on the daily time frame chart we're in bar number eight of a td nine count pattern so it could be bar eight it could be bar nine or the bar following nine so the nq is saying and this is struggling there's going to be a top it's going to occur between today and wednesday and the week says hey i can second that motion steve Rhodes with tfnn be right back If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. 
Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today, and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. So let's get to a couple of uh, questions out here. The uh, first one was to take a look at uh, Netflix, I believe. And uh, so let's go. Hey, let's. All right. Hopefully, uh, we get audio. We got audio in the den. Bose Dan out there. I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. Good, good, good. Okay, great. Sorry about that. So, we were taking a look at Netflix as we uh, came back from that uh, breakout there. And we're looking at the daily time frame. And on the daily time frame, May 19th uh, generated the Rhodes Momentum Indicator Top, uh, the uh, shooting star bearish golfing candle that had formed. Now, what price did was the uh, price uh, was pushed back through support. Uh, broke the first level of support, which was its daily profile back on May 22nd out there. Continued to move lower. Price is now trading inside. It's bullish. You don't see my charts? Holy cow. Bowser. Okay, let's get this out here. Okay, sorry about that, folks. And uh, sorry for the repeat out here. Now you can see the charts. Here you can see the Rhodes Momentum Indicator top out here. And uh, we can see that currently there's a bullish structured profile. And as long as price can hold 410.08, then uh, we could see price make its way up to the top of the profile or Stevie's green line, 430 to 434. Should you see a close below 410.08, 
and certainly two days, uh, two bars closing below that. Then where Netflix is headed to is 361.71. Other than the bullish structured profile out here in the daily time frame, if you're asking me where it looks like Netflix is headed to, um, it's that 361.71 area, that uh, breakout level on the daily time frame. Let's take a look at the weekly time frame charts, get a feel for what it's uh, communicating to you and I. Um, there's an A to B equal CD to the upside. Uh, that we could easily uh, draw in here. And that was confirmed, sell the D point with that bear sash candle from about four weeks ago. Price is trading uh, now below Stevie's green line. That's 420, basically 421, we'll call it, 420 and change out there. And this is suggesting that price could pull back to 298.63. So the weekly chart isn't uh, generating any signal different than really the daily time frame out there. And I know this is with regard to some call options that you have out here. So, uh, and on the monthly time frame, uh, we are in wave number seven. That's letter G on my screen out here. Price is moving higher, doing less route of energy early into the month. So it's kind of hard to make a call here. Um, but uh, at this stage here, um, yes, look, support is held at 410.08. And you'd have to say resistance at 434, but more likely than not over time, it looks like uh, this is headed to the 361 level out there. So that was the first request. Another request, I believe what was a request inside the Tiger's Den, was to take a look at uh, Vertex Pharmaceuticals. Uh, gee, uh, I'm kind of multitasking here. So let me uh, pull over Vertex Pharmaceuticals, and uh, let's get a feel for what it's doing. Same thing, let's start with the daily time frame. Daily tops with wave number seven, that is letter G on my screen. That was May the 18th. And then price immediately pulled back to test its breakout level of support, 256.01. We can see how that held on May 27th. Then it bounced back up to the highs. So this has really just got this little consolidating type of pattern. You're trading at 264.22. The daily time frame says there's no reason for this to not go tag 256.01. If you see a close below 256.01, Vertex Pharmaceuticals is saying, I want lower price, 209.43, which what the daily time frame would show. On the weekly time frame for Vertex, what do we have? We've got a TD9 count topping pattern out there. Bar number eight, price below Stevie's green line. Vertex Pharmaceuticals headed back to at least the bottom of its profile. That's 254.15. More likely than not, it's the 220 even Steven. That's courtesy of the weekly time frame chart. On the monthly time frame chart, Vertex Pharmaceuticals, you, you know what I'm saying? I don't. But Vertex Pharmaceuticals for the monthly time frame, also a TD nine count top out there. And this is suggesting 243 uh, and change on the pullback. So with regard to Vertex Pharmaceuticals, looks like the move to the upside is over for the time being. The next request out there was for Gilead. So if we go take a look at it, G-I-L-D is the uh, ticker symbol. So let's take this, uh, take a look at his daily time frame. Boy, big, huge Rhodesman indicator top way back here on March the 18th. Price was never able to take that level out. This is the daily time frame. What do we have as far as signals, signals out here? You know, as long as price stays above Stevie's red line, 75.85, the top of its daily profile, 76.40, there's no reason why this can't make a, another run for, you know, the, the highs in the 84s type range out there. So the daily, let's, let's see what the weekly time frame chart is suggesting to you. And I, okay, so on the weekly time frame chart, it's saying, hey, if for, in order for Stevo to have properly read the daily time frame chart, price needs to get above its weekly green line. And that green line number, Level 77.56. We're trading below right now. Roads momentum indicator top is in place out here. And this is suggesting to us that as long as price is unable to hold Stevie's green line on the weekly base, 77.56, 70.88 to 62.38 uh, is its price target. On a monthly time frame out here, well, we can see this thing had topped quite a while ago with a roads momentum indicator uh, topping signal out here. And, uh, and and then as price moved back, you could see the TD9 count that it formed. What was important about that TD9 count that it formed out here in the monthly time frame was the resistance level of 88.85. We can see how price got up to that area and then just simply boom, shebang, the whole nine yards out there couldn't bust through it. So now price is trading above a key level, which is 7030. So if it can hold 7030, maybe just consolidated between that and this 88.85 level. But a close below 7030. 
30 opens up that door for 4670 longer term for Gilead Sciences. So I hope that that uh, helps you out. That takes care of, I believe, all of the requests in the Tiger's Den. If there's other requests out there, please feel free to go ahead and type those in, and we'll get to those. Hey, production room, any requests out there in uh, YouTube uh, from our YouTube listeners? I'll continue taking a look at the uh, charts out here. Let's go look at. Uh, let's go take a look at uh, Lightspeed Crude out here. To look at Lightspeed Crude, we can go take a look at all of the uh, forward futures contracts. Get a feel, not just for what where it is trading as we. Where did I put it? Right here, where it's trading right now for the July contract, which is thirty eight seventeen. But you're going to see July, uh, August, September, and October. So you're seeing four different charts at the bottom of my screen out here. See how each of those are trading, and uh, right now, uh, let's go take a look at a, a da my other daily, uh, well, a couple different charts out here. So here's what we see on the daily time frame for July. We see an A to B equals CD pattern out there, and the question is, is there going to be some type of bearish reversal candle to confirm the Gartley sell pattern? So as we speak right now, we don't have that in play out here. Let me pull over my other daily time frame chart out here. We can see that today is going to be, well, should be bar number seven of a TD9 count. We can see Stevie's red line turned green. That's at 35.49. So price could pull back there. But if it pulls back there too quickly, it'll negate this TD9 count pattern. Things are still bullish in light sweet crude land. We'll finish this off when we get back from this break. Steve Rhodes with TFN. Back in the day, I joined the Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by, Bam! as well as, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us. And Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. Bam! If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. 
For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. So in uh, Lightspeed Crew, you can see uh, July 2020 out here. That is the active contract as we speak right now, uh, at least for the next uh, 10 uh, trading sessions. We can see a pretty decent amount of uh, volume inside August, September, and uh, December out here. Uh, back on the July contract, you can see a nice little descending trend line. The 1 to 1.618 A to B equals CD, which is 41.71. That's really the price target unless we see some type of bearish reversal candle today. We may. Uh, we can see it. 43.15 happens to be the breakdown level. This is for the July contract uh, for lights we crude. So that really becomes your target area. So the target area right now, unless a bearish reversal candle forms, is at 41 to 43 area. That is light sweet crude. Inside the uh, YouTube channel, we had a request to take a look at um, Boeing out here. So let's go take a look at it. BA is the uh, ticker symbol. Uh, let's begin by taking a look at the daily time frame out here. In the case of uh, Boeing, let's see where the resistance area is, 297.44. So this is going to be in bar or bar number six of a potential TD nine count pattern. So uh, no top in uh, place here or, or no topping signal in place here. So you're trading at 228. And a 297 looks to be the target. That's on the daily. The weekly time frame here for Boeing, what does it show? The weekly time frame um, doesn't show me much. It uh, doesn't show me anything that uh, would negate what we said about the daily. And on the uh, weekly time frame, the weekly time frame says uh, price could make its way up to Stevie's green line, which is about the 279 area. So I believe that was for Yvonne. I hope that that helps you out with regard to uh, Boeing. We've got uh, Mike on the line. Uh, Mike, think, is it, no, Ray in Sarasota. Uh, Ray, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you? Doing well. Doing well. And uh, I'm interested in your opinion on NAT uh, yeah. in terms of support and resistance. Sure, sure. Now, my my recollection, you're a long-term holder of this, or yeah, both. Just... I, I have a trading position and a longer-term position. I sold some uh, calls against the uh, long position when it was up higher. Got it. Okay. So as we take a look at it, one of the things that you like today is the fact that it, uh, as long as it can, can stay above 478, um, and that is suggesting that uh, price wants to move to higher ground. You asked, I believe you said, asked where the next resistance levels were. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. So you've got one at about. Um, it's interesting. Um, we have one certainly at 638. Okay, I need to go back to one of my other charts out here because I'm I'm a little confused. So I'm going to clear up the confusion on my end and to give you what those uh, daily profile levels are for Nordic American tankers. So I want to give you that. Yeah. So the next resistance level. God, this is really weird. What my system is doing here. Sorry about that. That that doesn't impact you, but it impacts me. Okay, ah, that's why I couldn't see it. So there was a brand new daily profile that formed out here, Ray, um, and uh, prices above that. And so that is a bullish message out here on the daily time frame. So where price had broken down recently was at the uh, figure that I gave you, which was $6.38. So that, to me, looks like where price is headed to. Now, that's on the daily time frame. As I switch over to the weekly for you for Nordic American tankers, um, I don't really have a... a key resistance level. If I was getting, Well, I take that back. 567. But I think the uh, the daily was a bit higher, wasn't it? 638. Yeah, so I like the 638 to me when I take a look at the charts. That's what makes more sense um, is that is your key level of resistance. And in the monthly time frame, it's 868. So, yeah, that's what Stevie's going with. The charts are telling you 638 to 868 out there. A clearing of 638 gets you up to that next level, obviously. Does that help you out? Excellent. Helps a lot. Good numbers. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, you bet. Thanks for calling. Best of luck, and we'll look forward to speaking to Ray in Sarasota again out there. I believe there was a request to take a look at, um, shoot. Oh, the question was, what do I think about the IWM? Let's go see what the charts say. And uh, with regard to the IWM, hopefully uh, it's okay to take a look at the equity future contract. Okay, good. I think the answer was yes. So we're going to go do that. Now, on the uh, Russell 2000, uh, what I want to first share with you is take a look at the weekly time frame. So in the weekly time frame, much like we uh, uh, 
uh, looked at inside the NQ, we can see that last week was bar number nine of a TD9 count. We can see that this week we've already seen a higher high out there. That's okay. Remember, these TD9 count patterns, the high or low of the pattern, uh, can occur on bars eight, nine, or the bar following nine. So this is set up on a weekly basis for a potential topping signal this week out here because of the bar following bar nine. Now, if it doesn't, in other words, we make a high this week and then you see a close above that high uh, next week, well, then that would be very bullish out here. <clears throat> if we look at the daily time frame, though, <clears throat> to go along with the week weekly topping signal that we have, first we can see the Gartley buy pattern. That clearly marked a bottom out there at 1174.90 with that Three River Morningstar pattern. And now price is trading right into its breakdown level of 1520.10. Now we're at 1536 out here. Mike, I think it was Mike that had asked about this. If not, uh, uh, my apology and whoever asked. You can see price trading into its breakdown resistance level. And also it's either in wave three or wave seven. G or C out here. So G is a topping signal. From a TD count, we don't have that pattern out there. There's clearly an A to B equals CD to the upside. You know, every Gartley has five potential outcomes. The fifth potential outcome is that the Gartley pattern turns into a new A to B equals CD. So as we draw that in here, you're going to see that the one to one level is up at 1640. So that may be the uh, price target out there. That would just be your one to one A to B equals CD. But uh, the daily's got a topping signal, wave number seven. Remember that that can't be confirmed until there's a lower high. So the earliest confirmation on that would be at the close tomorrow. I'm not saying it's going to give that confirmation until that's the earliest time frame where you could get that signal. So if you're asking, what do the charts tell us about Russell 2000 right now? It's got that topping signal on the daily. It's got the topping signal on the uh, weekly out here. But in the daily chart, uh, we need a confirmation. So prices doesn't we don't see a lower high tomorrow. Wave 7 will extend itself and price may be targeting the uh, 1 to 1 A to B equals CD in the 1600 uh, level out there. If I look at a, a short term time frame just for the heck of it, see what's going on. Let's call it the uh, 30 minute time frame here for the Russell 2000. That way I get to uh, everything. Uh, we've covered both sides, I guess, is what I really mean when I say everything. Here we're going to see what? We're going to see prices moving higher, doing with less relative energy, a TD9 count out here. So for the day, the Russell 2000 may be over as far as the move higher. It's just struggling uh, uh, to get uh, through this uh, level out here. And that's what does DVCs for the 30 minute, the daily and the weekly time frame. Uh, I believe we've got a couple of requests that came in by email. So let me switch over to uh, those here. Hector and the fuel injectors want to take a look at uh, ticker symbol M-I-K, I believe it is. And uh, where will MIK find resistance or support? So uh, let's go ahead and type in uh, MIK, MIK, <laughs> MIC, that's why. In any event, here's the deal with regard to Michael's uh, company out there. Is that the uh, thrift uh, uh, store? Michael's? Must be, probably, might be. Trade above the daily, trade above the weekly, and uh, trade above the monthly profiles. Michael's and company brick and mortar store suggesting that it wants to move to higher ground if we come back from this break we'll uh, take a look at the charts in more detail out there of course i want to hear from you too 877-927-6648 steve rhodes with tfn we'll be right back Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're taking a look at ticker symbol MIK. That is uh, Michaels and Company. I think it's the uh, Michaels uh, craft store uh, that we see inside the uh, malls. Now, this is the we're going to go re work in reverse order here. Uh, I've got the monthly time frame. And the monthly time frame, we can see that when this bottom it was with wave number seven, that is letter G. You see a couple of G's on my screen out here. And now price being above Stevie's uh, red line at 441, um, it suggests that this wants higher price. Now, over the course of the long haul, uh, this could be targeting its breakdown level of 2111. But you got a valid bottoming signal on the longer term time frame, the monthly chart. So that's a uh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. We can see on the weekly time frame chart when this thing moved lower, it was bar number nine of a TD nine count pattern. So that's a beautiful thing. Now, this suggests caution. I'm not suggesting at all, Hector, that uh, you enter a trade uh, now. The reason why I say that is uh, last week was bar number eight. This week is bar number nine of a TD9 count. That's not to say that the high can't occur or won't occur with a TD9 count pattern. But uh, these patterns, when they're present, you know, there's, there's times that to take a trade, not take a trade, uh, tighten a stop and so forth. And so when you get those topping signals, them would be one of those time periods. So you're in bar number nine right now. Now, the beauty of this week is that price was able to get above 652. That was its breakdown level. And so price may be targeting 1110 out here. It's at 818. I know, hey, 818 to 1110, that would be a good trade. I just hate to see you do that when we are in a confirmed TD nine count top. After all, it was a TD nine count then that identified the bottom as well as the road's momentum indicator bottom signal there. Uh, the daily time frame shows this as bar number, the bar following bar number nine of a TD nine count out here. With resistance at 853, it looks like price maybe got up to that level or close to it. You're at eight and a quarter right now. So get another resistance. Now it's strong because look at look at how price is being able to crush these resistance levels here. So there certainly is demand for the uh, stock, but it's I, I can't give you the, if you're in it, you stay in it. But I, I, I can't suggest initiating a trade I'd, right now on a retracement, uh, sure. But we have to start to see what the retracements would look like if, in fact, they uh, take place out there. So I hope that helps you out, uh, Hector and Patty, with regard to uh, uh, Michael's company. I guess I could have looked it up to see if that was actually Michael's uh, retail stores out there. But 
at this stage here, we'll just go with it. Had a request to take a look at uh, Walmart. So let's go take a look at uh, WMT out here. I believe that is for uh, James. And James is saying uh, we'd like to go along Walmart looking for a pullback and an entry. So we'll just stick on the daily time frame out here for uh, Walmart. And in the case of uh, Walmart, even though I can't draw it in here, we can see the A to B equals CD pattern that was confirmed with the bearish engulfing uh, candle out here. In the case of Walmart, that might have been... That was a, a butterfly expansion uh, pattern. We can see that it bottomed here with a TD nine count pattern. Price makes its way all the way up to the resistance level of that breakdown area of 132.38, and then continues moving lower. We're trading, Walmart is trading below the bottom of its daily profile bar number four of a TD nine count. The answer to your question, James, 110.94. You're looking to get into Walmart, I'd watch 110.94. That is its breakout level. Uh, and that's what I would be watching for. Um, I'd come back and take a look at it in about four or five trading sessions, see if there's a TD9 count pattern that is uh, present. Uh, we've got a request to go take a look at uh, ticker symbol CPE. So let's go do uh, that and uh, see where this is headed to. I can see now as I pull the chart over here, nice day to the upside, wide ranging bar. And uh, bar number five of a TD9 count. So this is going to find resistance at about 299. Now, this is the daily time frame chart out here. And if uh, this bottomed with wave number seven, that was uh, letter G back here on March the 9th. I basically traded uh, sideways ever since then and um, built cause, and now it's moving higher. But that moving higher in that cause, 299 is going to be the level to watch out there. Uh, no reason to exit the trade, but uh, 299 is going to be the price point that is going to uh, be where you're going to see where the pedal meets the metal, so to speak. If price can get through there, well, then on the weekly basis out here, and I don't have a weekly, uh, oh, I do ha have a uh, TD9 count bottom. How about that? So there's your TD9 count bottom, and price may be targeting 492. So that's the weekly time frame. Watch the daily. If you can get above the uh, resistance area out there, then you should move up to the uh, weekly resistance zone. On the monthly time frame chart, again, we're just early into the month. Uh, but what you like is right now you can see price trading above Stevie's red line. That red line number is 221. We haven't seen price take out uh, Stevie's oscillator and change line out here since uh, 2018. That uh, looks like about March or May. So closing above this for this month would be um, would would suggest a change in trend out here. Now price is trading below its profile levels, so 401 becomes a, a resistance area. But the monthly profiles could change in between now and then. Whenever then is so. Uh, in summary, uh, you're looking at you're watching 299. That's going to be a resistance area. If price can get through there, the daily time frame has 385 and 487. As price targets in the weekly has got 492. So I hope that that helps you out. So uh, looks like we've gotten through, and this is a beautiful thing, all of the requests by email thus far and all of the requests inside of the uh, Tiger's Den, I believe. Was there a request in uh, Tiger's Den out there? Uh, maybe you're asking me to take a look at uh, BDRY. Is that what they're uh, looking for? I, I don't know if that's the case or not, but uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, we can go ahead and do it. BDRY out there. BDSI. BDSI. Okay, BDSI. We can go take a look at BDSI. That's a request for sure. Wasn't sure about the other one. That is Bio Delivery Sciences out here. So uh, BDSI. Let me get it going on my other charts out there. Well, I've, there we go. So you can see this is trading above the top of its daily profile. That's bullish, meaning no resistance. Top of its weekly, bullish, no resistance. And uh, Bob, above the top of its monthly, which is 504. So that is a uh, beautiful thing. Now, price is moving into a prior swing point. That was the uh, date of May 8th, had 1.7 million shares, 873 today. So you're moving into it a little light in the loafers, so to speak, but um, just means it may struggle to take out that swing point today. That's okay. You don't really want to do on that. I mean, you do, but you don't. Now, the real resistance area out here, you can see is the next resistance area is going to be 545 out here. So again, no topping signals, but you know where resistance is at. If price can clear 545, then you're looking at a move up to 598. That is uh, coming from your daily time frame signals out there. If we switch over to the weekly, the weekly say, hey, we don't have any resistance till we get all the way back up to 721 out here. 
Uh, so that is its message to you. And on the monthly time frame, to finish this off, you like seeing price trade above Stevie's green line out there. Rising price oscillator on the monthly above zero uh, gives you a price target of 779. And that was BDSY. Uh, let's go take the uh, that other symbol out there just for the heck of it. BDRY. I don't know what it is. Well, we can find out real quickly out here. BDR. Whoops. BDR. I, right? Why? Uh, well, don't worry, folks. I, I really can. Um, well, I can walk and chew gum, but I'm not walking. I can't sit and talk and chew gum and apparently create a clear sentence at the same time. This is the uh, Break Wave Dry Bulk Shipping ETF. Next resistance level 586, the top of its weekly program. Hope you're ready. Markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets. This is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30 day money back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, oil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're going to uh, round out the uh, today's session by taking a look at the uh, the uh, debt market. 
30-year uh, Treasury bond right now. We can see that that price had broken out of its uh, sideways consolidation pattern out there. Now, typically when you break out of a consolidation pattern, you get a measured move equal to or greater than consolidation. I'll move that box down to the downside out here, and you can see we haven't made that measured move. A measured move gets us back to about 170 even Steven out there. So, But the question is, is there a uh, tradable bottom out here inside the 30-year uh, Treasury? And uh, here we can also see how T-bonds are trading in relationship to uh, euros, yen, and pounds. So with regard to uh, euros, price is trading a bit higher, yen lower, and in pounds, um, you're pretty much even Steven out here. So that's why you're not seeing a whole lot of movement because you see different things different things. You see the way that the bonds are trading on different screens. And quite frankly, the way that bonds are trading in terms of euros, yen, and pounds is probably way more important than the way that bonds are trading inside of uh, dollars. But with regard to uh, T-bonds, Many people use the TLT. I think this was the first question with regard to, and take a look at the TLT, uh, can we see any kind of a sign of a, a bottom out here? Well, if we take a look at Friday's action, that was bar number nine of a TD9 count. We can also see that Stevie's green line, the oscillator and change line, uh, changed colors back on June the 3rd, June the 4th out there. When that changes colors, we usually see price and that line catch up to each other. So putting that together for you, John and Philly, You've got a valid bottom. You can take the trade. Uh, if you uh, close below the low of uh, Friday, well, then, then that pattern had been negated. But price should make its way up to about 160. Now, that's in the TLT. The underlying instrument, so to speak, out here is the 30-year. And when I put the 30-year over here, you'll see real quickly, I know we're going to uh, to a breakout here, the daily time, but at the end of the show, uh, what we don't have is a similar pattern, meaning bar number nine. And so the 30-year is saying, hey, Steve-O, what I really want to do is go tag 167 in 13, 30 seconds. It's breakout level. Folks, thanks so much for being here. Stay tuned. Two more great hours are left, and I'll look forward to seeing you on Terrific Tuesday. Have a magical Monday. Take care, folks.